Hello everyone, welcome to XCOM Enemy Within. Man, am I excited to play this. Okay, so previously, let me give you some context on this. This is XCOM Enemy Within, which is an expansion pack to XCOM Enemy Unknown. So it's not an entirely new game. However, it is a, a true and proper expansion pack. It adds a bunch of content. It's not just a really tiny little DLC. It, um... It basically supplements the main game with enough stuff to make an entire new playthrough worth it. So even though it's not an entirely new game, it does add quite a bit, and I think it's going to be very fresh. So what does Enemy Within add? Well, the biggest things it adds are gene mods. It adds the ability to make... Uh, I'm not sure of the names of all these things, but yeah, you can do gene mods. You can create some sort of mech trooper thing, which is super freaking awesome. I think the mech troopers are unable to take cover, but I think you can use them as cover for your other troops, so they're just they're just massive and badass, basically. Um, it adds Meld, which is a new resource that kind of changes up the gameplay mechanics, and is used for new stuff. I'm not exactly sure what. Maybe the gene mods, I'm not really sure. Um, it adds new maps, new equipment, new enemies. It adds in the Exalt which are, I, I think that's the reason it's called enemy, enemy Within, because the Exalt are... What the hell are they? I think they're like a terrorist organization or something. Trying to sabotage you or something of the sort. So yeah, there's basically just a bunch of stuff. And I'm really freaking excited to play it. So I played through, and you can find the videos on my channel. I played through um, XCOM Enemy Unknown, and it was freaking fun. I played it on normal difficulty and Iron Man mode, which means if I died... If I lost the game, that was the end. Can't load your old save. Can't go back. And I'm going to be doing the same thing here. Also, a little while ago, I made a video pulling viewers for their names to use for the soldiers. I asked viewers to contribute whatever names they want me to use for the soldiers so that they could be named after them, since you can customize the soldiers. And I'm going to be randomly drawing from that pool to name my soldiers. And by the way, if you would, if you missed that video and would like to get your name in there as a possible uh, name for one of the soldiers, you can still go back and find the video on my channel and just let me know in the comments what you want your name to be. I will continue to draw from this pool that I will continuously update until I finish the game. So you can still go back and throw your name into the pot. Yep, it's going to be fun. This is a game filled with knuckle-biting decisions and agonizing... Just, that's, that's the most fun part of the, part of the game, is just the agonizing decisions. It is a game that is constantly made up of just a non-stop string of interesting decisions. And there's, just, there's always decisions to make about what to build into your base and which abilities to select for your soldiers. And when you're on the battlefield, just every little turn. And, uh, it's just amazing. It's so much fun. All right. Let's get going. Single player. Okay. I'm going to be running on normal difficulty again. I was actually going to do classic. I was actually seriously going to do classic. But I read around about how difficult classic actually is. And the general consensus is that it's practically impossible. And I, I might try classic if it wasn't for the fact that I'm going to be running Iron Man mode. But since I am, no way. I'm sorry. I played on normal before, when I played the the base game, and even then, it was a pretty challenging game for me. It was not a cakewalk. So, at least for my skill level, I'm going to go with normal. But, let's go into advanced options, and let's turn on Iron Man. Play with a single save that is updated automatically as you progress through the game. In an Iron Man game, your choices and their consequences are permanent. It even has a warning. You cannot reload earlier saves, adding a significant level of challenge to the experience. Iron Man mode is only recommended for experienced players. Yes, I accept your challenge. Okay, reduce beginner v uh, voiceover. Yeah, I don't, I don't need that stuff. So let's, let's do that. I don't think I need it. Um, in the course of defending Earth against the alien invasion, undertake a campaign to rescue an alien abductee who is more than she seems. I have no idea what that is, so I'm just going to leave that, I guess. But I'm going to leave the tutorial and the meld tutorial off because it'd probably be pretty dull to go through. I actually spent about an hour just refreshing my memory of how to play this game. Just to actually know what the hell I'm doing, because there's a lot of different things you need to manage in this game. 
and most of it came back, at least the basics. I'm not, I'm not as good as I once was after playing for like 30 hours or whatever the hell, however long I played in the original, which was a really long time. But I've got the basics down. So I don't think I need the tutorials, and I think that's it. Uh, second wave is some new option. I don't know exactly when it was added, but it allows you to just tweak a bunch of things. Uh, weapons have a much wider, wider range of damage. Units receive an aim bonus the closer they are to flanking an enemy. Just lots of little tweaks, but I'm not going to touch any of that. I think that's it. Iron Man. Tutorial disabled. Reduce beginner VO. Normal difficulty. Yeah, let's go. Oh yes, enable tutorial experience. If you've ever played XCOM before, blah blah blah. Would you like to enable that experience? No, I don't. I, I'm good without the tutorial. of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. Okay, here we go. Good luck, Commander. I've been chosen to defend Earth. I don't think he knows just how bad of an idea that is. I'm not a very good commander. Oh boy. No pressure. No pressure. Okay, so I get to identify my, or choose my base location. Which, as far as I can tell, the only real effect of that is that it just has a different continent bonus. So, North America. Aircraft and aircraft weapons cost 50% less to blah blah blah. Just 50%... 50% less overall. Laboratories and workshops cost 50% less to build and maintain. Asia. Foundry and officer training school cost 50% less. South America. Autopsies and interrogations are completed instantly. <laughs> it's titled, We Have Ways. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to know your ways to complete interrogations instantly. Ugh. And then we have Africa. Monthly XCOM funding increased by 30%. Now, basically, aside from South America, all of these just give you discounts to various different areas. However, Africa just gives you an overall 30% boost to your funding that you can spend on anything, which just sounds better to me because you, it's more flexible, you know? Whereas these are specific. Africa is just very flexible. So, what the hell? Let's go with Africa. Heading to South Africa for this one, and we need to get down there fast. We've picked
picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Alien abduction and progress metal uh, energy signature readings are positive. Site is clear of civilians. Collateral damage is not a concern. Cool. Let's see if I can pronounce the name of where I'm going to in South Africa. Blome? Fontaine? Blome Fontaine? <laughs> that can't be right. There's no way I'm pronouncing that right. Blome Fontaine. Oh my god. I, I give up. I'm not even going to try. Here we go. Operation Crimson Dream. Yes, Crimson Dream. I have a dream of blood. The question is, am I dreaming of my own or the enemy's? We're about to find out. Launch mission. Of course, of this tutorial mission, my soldiers are not customized yet. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Don't take any chances. <laughs> Dude, this is XCOM, and I'm their commander. You really think I'm not going to take any chances? Come on. I'm going to be running soldiers up, like, just out in the middle of a room filled with aliens, and just hoping that they all of the aliens miss them. I'm going to be taking chances. But anyway, yes, um, I can't customize these soldiers just yet. We have to go through this beginning... I don't even know what this is. It's not really a tutorial because I disabled tutorials, so I'm not quite sure what it is. But there's a beginning mission before I can customize anybody. So let's play through this and then customize my soldiers and set up everything. Okay, so I need to find the meld containers. And I guess clear the place of aliens. And as you can see up here in the top right, there are two meld containers that I need to find. Now, the interesting thing about meld containers is that they only last a certain amount of time on the map before they disappear. So I believe what the designers, what the developers were attempting to do with this, aside from just adding in a new resource to just change things up, but one of the things they were trying to do is change the gameplay. Because in the original Enemy Unknown, the, the best method of playing was basically to be incredibly cautious and slow, and move everybody up in waves, like have everybody in cover and in Overwatch and then move one person up, and just be like super super slow and super cautious. And by having these time limits that make it so that if you want the resource, you have to move pretty fast to get it, you can't do that anymore, not necessarily, not if you want to get the meld. You have to pick up the pace a bit. So it changes up the gameplay and kind of forces you to be more mobile if you want the meld, which you probably do. So, it's interesting. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out this building. Copy that. Do, 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 do. Open the door. Nothing. All right, let's just move everyone up. Heading there now. Nothing but some washing machines, and I see there's actually there's actually laundry inside of the washing machines. That attention to detail, I am impressed. By the way, did I mention that I'm kind of incompetent? I mean, I did manage to get through the original game on normal difficulty. Which, you know, that's not impressive, but normal difficulty and Iron Man, so I guess I'm not terrible, but... It's it's been a while. I'm gonna be rusty. Uh, I'm gonna sprint. Why the hell not? There's no one to... no one to shoot. Haven't discovered any aliens. What's the point? Get a nice spread here. Oh! Shit. Of course, the very last soldier I move discovers aliens. Oh wait, no, 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 he can shoot. He has one uh, one of his turns left, or one of his... I don't know what you call it. Where you get like two batches to your turns? I'm not sure what you'd call them. Two, uh, two points of action, movement, I, I don't know. Anyway, he could shoot, but the problem is his line of sight is blocked by some washing machines, so that's unfortunate. In other words, he can't do anything. So... So... Uh, just Overwatch. Oh, you can shoot too. I forgot. See, I'm already incompetent. Didn't take long for that to happen. 45% chance? Sure, why not? Pretty good. Oh, oh. Nice. Good job.
By the way, one cool thing that you maybe noticed is that... Whoa, what is that? Oh, that's one of the meld canisters. Cool. Uh, so one cool thing that you might have noticed is that the soldiers don't all speak in English like they did before. And there's actually an option that I actually had to enable. It was off by default. Um, soldier's language. New soldier's spoken language will match their nationality. So this is a new option. New to Enemy Within. So it does, well, exactly what it says. I believe, based on what I've read, that what this does is it basically adds in all of the languages f um, that the developers made for all the different localizations of the game. So it doesn't necessarily have all of the languages to represent all of the different characters you will have, but it has all of the ones that they made voiceovers for. So they didn't go out of their way to make different languages for the soldiers. They just used all the ones they had for the different localizations of the game and put them in, which is pretty cool. Adds a nice variety, you know? Okay, so they're around there, which means what? Um... Should I just go for the meld canister? I kind of want to just go for the meld canister. But I might discover more aliens. Hmm. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I... I am going to move you here. So he's in full cover. And then I can move him around the corner and shoot the alien in the face. Next turn. But to protect him, I'm going to put some people on Overwatch. seems like a good idea to me. I'm probably going to say the opposite in just a minute, but so far it does. <laughs> you know, I'm saying this sounds like a good idea, but keep in mind, when I played this game for about an hour to refresh my memory on how to play it, I lost two soldiers during the first three missions. <laughs> so, take that with a grain of salt. Uh, you kind of have to dash somewhere, don't you? Fine, back him up. Alright, if he sticks his head out, there's going to be a bunch of Overwatch. Okay. That is smart. Ooh. I... Oh, I could just... I wonder, if the alien is right here... If I put my character here... Would it be able to shoot around the corner? I don't know. Let's try this. Hmm. Nothing. Oh, of course. Of course! I have to dash. I'm one square short of being able to just go there normally. Ugh. I probably should have just gotten the freaking meld canister. Whatever, I'm committed now. Let's do it. You know what, um... I'm gonna do something that might be stupid. And I'm gonna split my team up. I want that meld canister. Oh fuck, see, that might have been stupid. That might have been stupid. Well. Half cover, half cover, I guess I'm going here. Yep. Here we go. We're splitting them up. Hey, it's okay, it's just the first mission. They're not even promoted to squatty yet. They don't even have a class, they're... No one cares about them. Okay. Blew up some cover, but didn't hit. Overwatch. Okay. And I just lost the meld. Was it this meld that I lost? It was, wasn't it? Great. My entire plan to get the meld is totally pointless because I just waited too freaking long. Blech. <sighs> okay. Chance of hitting is 57. Um, I... Mm, I could go here to basically guarantee a hit against this person. This alien. But then the Overwatch is going to trigger. 
Eh, that's fine. It'll be fine. Don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. Ooh, nice dodge. Okay, this gives me nice flanking, which gives me a 100% chance to hit. You are dead. Nice action cam there. That didn't show any of the action. <laughs> Good job. Oh, shit, I didn't realize there's an enemy. Th oh, fuck me. I'm already incredibly incompetent. I did not realize there's an enemy there that is just totally flanking my character. Shit. Okay, well, here's some full cover. That's good. I can get a flanking shot on that alien and hopefully take it out before I can get a flanking shot on my character. On my... What are my people? 65% shot. I could use a grenade to pr practically guarantee it. Actually, no, that would completely guarantee it. Um... Yeah, what the hell? I want to see something explode. Let's see stuff go boom. Here we go. Grenade out! <laughs> that is awesome. Alright, well now I know I really need to get to the other meld canister if I don't want to lose it. Where is it, though? You might be able to see it in the mist, maybe? I don't know, this map is pretty big. Get some eyes out here. Nothing. Alright, I'm guessing it's in this building, so why don't you move up? Mm, I do not want to open that yet. So, just go ahead and overwatch. And overwatch. Oh, no, she panicked. She panicked. I think that means I can't control her. Right, yeah, I, ca I can't control her anymore. But the good thing is that what she did when she panicked was hunker down, which means she's protected. So even though I can't do anything with her, at least she's not, like, shooting a teammate, which I think can actually happen. I think they can actually panic and shoot teammates. But anyway. 45%. Wait, do you have a 45% chance to hit it? Aren't you just going to shoot through the wall? I guess she'll come around this this way. Hmm. Mm, might as well move up a little bit. Not sure if that's going to increase my chance. No, still 45. Eh, I'll take it. Yeah, bust it open. Two damage, okay. Not bad. I'm not dead, though. Let's pop this thing out. What have we got? I need that meld canister very badly. Good to go. <sighs> Where are they? On the move. I'm not being super cautious here because this is just the first mission. So it's pretty damn easy. Plus, I really want the meld canister. I've already incompetently la lost the other one. Let's move up here. I'm gonna split them up, one to the left, one to the right. Next turn. What are you doing? Did it seriously just go into- why would you go into Overwatch, alien? I don't even know why you would do that. Why wouldn't you try to shoot at my character? I mean, at least hunker down. Hunker down makes way more sense than Overwatch. I mean, you're basically just dead. Well, let's guarantee the deadness, shall we? Yeah, let's um, let's do that. Oh fuck! It's an Overwatch. <laughs> what am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? It's an Overwatch. Why would you move towards an enemy in Overwatch that's like five feet away? Whatever, it doesn't matter, it, do it does guarantee the kill. That part of my plan wasn't stupid. Ciao, ciao. Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. 
we can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. So yes, if you take out all of the aliens uh, before the canisters are gone, I guess you just recover it because the alien presence is gone so you can just go across the battlefield and automatically collect everything left. So I guess you don't have to necessarily get the canisters. You can just focus on taking out all of the aliens, but you're probably going to have to get the canisters. Realistically. Later on, when there's much more enemies. But yes, this is how I play after refreshing my memory on how to play the game for about an hour. And I just made a constant string of incompetent decisions. I missed the first canister, made a bunch of stupid mistakes, and split up my crew. Just, oh my god. It's okay. It's okay. I didn't lose anyone. I didn't lose anyone on Operation Crimson Dream. I'm probably going to lose some people, though. <laughs> oh boy. This is a bad start. This is a really bad start. And you people are going to trust me with your names, huh? You're going to trust me to make, to lead you into battle. And using your names. Just, wow. You're going to die. You're all going to die. Thank you, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the Commander barracks. The I'll let you get to it. Commander to the research labs. Okay. So, this first episode is probably going to be mostly filled with me being incompetent, and also getting my, uh, my entire operation. My entire, uh, whatever the hell you call the XCOM, what is it, XCOM operation? XCOM program? Whatever it is. It's gonna be me setting everything up. Because there's gonna be a lot of customizing to do, and lots of things to build. You'll see. But... For now, we have two people, which ironically seem to be both of my damaged people, that need a promotion. So when you go from, what is it, from Rookie to Squatty, which Squatty is one, Squatty is one, um, one level up from Rookie, that uh, gives you a class. Before that, before that, you don't even have a class. But I see, we have a sniper. It randomly picks, by the way, whatever class that it wants you to be. To be. So we have a sniper and an assault. Alright, click to promote. New training headshot. So yeah, the first skill that you get is basically your your basic skill for the class. You, you can't choose, but later on you can choose between different things. Unfortunately, she's wounded for nine days, so that sucks. And we have an assault. Run and gun, which is an awesome ability, by the way. Allows firing or overwatch after dashing on the turn that run and gun is activated. So you can use it, run up behind an enemy, and blast it in the face Commander with a shotgun. To the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Which is awesome. And yes, Commander to the Research Labs, thank you. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Excellent, Dr. Valen. Valen, however I pronounce your name. That's all the stuff that I got from the mission. I have 10 milled. I could have 20 if I wasn't incompetent. But anyway, uh, Commander, Commander to the... To the research labs. Yes! Commander to the research labs. Yes, thank you. Commander to the research labs. I hear you. Fine. I'll go to the research labs. It apparently wants me to go to the research labs. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. With my approval? You telling me I have power? Ooh, I like power. It's not to say I know what to do with it, but I like it. Alright, so let's start a new research project, because we currently have no active research. To oh my god! To uh, the beginning of the game is kind of awkward, because you have to deal with all this setup stuff and all this, all these annoyances. I will go to engineering in just a second. Just be quiet. Just to shut it up, I'm going to research something fast. Um, 
So, in case you don't know, the way research works is it doesn't cost any money. But it does cost material. Some things cost material and others don't, but either way, they just take a certain amount of time to research. So you always want to have one running. There's really no reason not to have research running unless you just don't have the materials needed. But you probably will have the materials needed. You just need, like, corpses and fragments, which you get from every mission. So... Um... Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. Let's do this one. Giving us ideas for ways to improve the soldier's current body armor. So I think this is going to end up with me being able to make some sort of body armor from it. So let's begin this project. I agree. That does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. Thank you. On to engineering. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Excellent. Okay, build and buy items and also build facilities. So, I have 347 monies. Um, satellites are extremely important in this game. Extremely important. They kind of want to be your... They should probably be your main focus. They are the main way that you... Mm. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. Okay, I'm just going to go to mission control and I'll come back to this. What? What? Tell me what you need. I'm supposed to be in command of this place and yet everyone else is telling me what to do. Fine. Mission control. Um, hello? Commander to mission control. I'm here. Wow, I need to hire better... I need to hire better people. Because apparently everybody just pulled a prank on their leader. Commander to mission control. And then I came into the room and there's no one here. Assholes. Okay, back to engineering. What was I even saying? Oh yes, satellites. You really, really want satellites because they're the main way to take down panic. And they also vastly increase the amount of money you get per month. However, I believe at the beginning you can't make another one yet, right? Commander, yeah. Our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. Right. So to deploy satellites, you need satellites. To build satellites, you need the uplink capacity. To get the uplink capacity, capacity, you need to um build facilities. So there's a bunch of like mini games to manage in this game. There's there's just a lot to it. So I'm just going to start excavating that, might as well. It's going to take five days. Um, now, places usually have an adjacency bonus. So you want to put satellite up satellite uplinks next to other satellite uplinks to get a bonus. But I don't believe at the beginning of the game you can actually build another satellite uplink. Because I think you need more engineers. Yeah, not enough engineers on staff. So I need to wait. Build access lift. So this will allow me to access the second level. So let's just start doing that as well. Costs two power, costs 50 bucks. And a maintenance fee of 10 every month, that's fine. So my power is now 27 of 37, so I have 10 more power. A satellite uplink will require 5 power. So, I think I'm good. Just, yeah, I just need to wait for more engineers. Yeah. So we've got that started. Now let's buy some stuff. Can't buy a satellite, but I do want some medkits. So I'm going to go ahead and buy two. These are very, very important to have. Yeah, so these, these are just instantly built. It says submit order, but you just get them instantly. It's not like you have to wait. Okay, so research is assigned. Engineer is all good. Um, let's do... Let's go with the soldiers last. Let's go to the hangar. Um, what do we have here? All right, so this is going to be used to defend your places from UFOs and stuff. There's not really much of a reason to have two at one place, I think. So I'm going to just go ahead and transfer one to North America just to spread them out. 
So there we go. That's dealt with. And let's do the people. View soldiers. So you start out with a bunch. But of course they're all newbies. They don't even have classes except for these two that have been uh, leveled up. But of course they're also both wounded so I can't even take them into battle. Which blows. Um... I'm actually going to customize these a little bit later. Let's figure out what mission we're going to do. So let's scan for activity and wait for the next mission. Here we go. Alien abductions reported. View abduction sites. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Alright. So... Um, since this is the beginning of the game, everybody is at minimum panic, so there's no reason to take one over the other for panic reasons. You have one easy and two moderate. One will give me engineers, one will give me scientists, and one will give me money. What do I need most? Well, money's always good. I badly need engineers to build other stuff. To build the satellite uplink. I kind of want to take that, but I also kind of like money. I kind of really like money. Hmm. And... I'm going to take the money. I'm going to be greedy. Here we go. Okay. Here is the soldier. Customization. Unfortunately, I, I still can't take any ranked people out there. Anyone that actually has a class, because, well, they're both wounded. So that blows. Okay. Now, as I said before, I'm taking... I'm taking, I'm still taking, and I've already collected a bunch of viewers' names that I'm going to name after these characters. So let me bring up the list here. I took the list, or I made a list out of everybody's names. I put them into a... F uh, put them in onto random.org. It's a website where you can just randomize a bunch of different stuff. So I just pasted this list of everybody's names onto that... onto a certain place on that site, randomized the list, and now I have it here. So it's a full list of everybody's names, but randomized. I'm just going to go from the top of this randomized list and down. And by the way, my incompetent leadership actually has displayed itself just in my asking for people's names, because what I didn't realize is that you actually have, you have to have a first name and a last name for your soldiers. I didn't know that. So not everybody gave me a first and a last name. So for those people, I'm just going to leave whatever random name they gave to the character for the first name. And put the name they gave me as the last name. Because that tends to be what shows up the easiest, you know. Like Rookie Wood, Rookie Jalal, or whatever however you pronounce that. Rookie Scott, and all of that. So yes, I'm incompetent. I'm completely incompetent. Anyway, let's go on down the list. Edit unit. Let's have some fun. I'm going to customize the hell out of these characters. Okay. Just to start, let's just give you a medkit. Which, by the way, in case you don't know, allows you to restore 4 health to an ally. Although you can upgrade that. Can save a critically wounded ally from bleeding out. So when you, um... Basically, when you take enough damage to die, there's a certain amount of chance that you won't actually die, but instead you'll be critically wounded, and you have a certain amount of turns to get somebody to use the medkit on them to restore them back to life. Or stabilize them. I can't remember if they return to battle or if they just don't die. I'm not sure which. It also makes you immune to poison. And you can neutralize a poison in an ally as well. So they're super good. Okay, customize. Alright. The first person at the top of this randomized list. The first viewer's name is Corbald Dresden. Here we go. Corbald Dresden. You are lucky or unlucky, winner number one. You're probably gonna die. <laughs> you probably will. Let's see. Now, how should I customize you? Let's just go crazy. Sure. Different head. Sure. Um, hair and helmet. Ooh. Oh, looking badass, look at that. 
Uh, I wish I could, um... I wish I could rotate the character, but I don't think I can. Hair color. <laughs> Hold on, we need some facial hair. <laughs> oh no, this is the one. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> That's amazing. Hold on, um, armor tint. There we go. Perfect. And hair and helmet. Uh, oh my god, a fedora. That is awesome. Oh, whoa, ooh. Hmm. It's hard to choose. I like this one, though. It's like, it's like casual war, you know? It's like casual war, yeah. <laughs> I bet Corbald Dresden actually hates me now. You're welcome. All right, first person customized. <laughs> Here's the next one. Okay, um, next person on the list is Gideon Graves. There we go. Let's see, what language? I'm gonna make you French, for the hell of it. Ooh, I like this one. Oh no, not not that's not what I meant. The, uh, this one. No, is that the right one? Where was it? This one, because this one seems to have a permanent scowl. It's the perfect head. It's the scowly head. The unhappy head. Need an awesome hair color again, of course. That is the crappiest little, like, 5 o'clock shadow I've ever seen. It's horrible. Let's see, should I make the armor color match? Yeah, why not? There we go. Yep. You just threw on a hat and you didn't even bother to shave your 5 o'clock shadow. You're good to go. Should I give you... I'm gonna give you a medkit. Uh, loadout. Where's my last bud? My last medkit? Okay. My group of soldiers is starting to, um, look pretty formidable. Alright. Next lucky or unlucky person on the list is Tyrone M. M. Just an M. Full name, I think, was Millichamp. But they only specified an M, so... M. You're gonna be Rookie M. <laughs> A man of few... letters. And words, maybe. There you go, you're German. And... I almost wish there was a randomize button. That'd produce some crazy results. I'm not going to have anyone who looks normal. Nope. I'm going to give them all crazy hair colors. <laughs> there we go. There we go. You're like neon. You you glow. You have a glow to you. Should I match the color or go with something different? Where's green? Oh no, that's gotta be the one. Yep, there we go. Perfect. You look like, like an Oompa Loompa or, or something. <laughs> okay. Uh, next person on the list is John Smith. Let's see. Gotta choose the hair color first, of course. Let's go for that. Yeah, it looks like there's a bunch of snow all over your face. 
Hmm. Facial hair. There we go. That's the one. There, you'll, you'll be perfect for any sort of operations done in winter times or snowy conditions. You'll blend right in. Alright, so there is my, my amazing looking group of soldiers so far. Rookie Dresden, Graves, M, and Smith. Even if you can't hit them worth a damn, maybe you can scare them off with your... Disturbing and extremely loud colors. Oh yes. Are you ready to fight for me? Dresden, Graves, M, and Smith? Do me proud. Let's go. Strike one. Prepare for landing. We're heading to South Africa for this one, and we need to get down there fast. Alien activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. Okay, so as I increase my squad size and use more people, I will of course be naming and customizing even more characters. So there's more yet to come. I'm certain these four people are definitely not going to be all the ones I use. Oh no. Neutralize hostile targets and locate and secure meld canisters. Let's go. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. I have to say, you lot are an amazing looking bunch. Your sense of style is impeccable. I'm probably going to start being able to identify people just by the colors of their hair. <laughs> I might actually do that. But at the moment, no one even has a class. So... When it comes to skills, all, all of these different people are literally the same. They have the same weapons, the same stats, the same... I think the same everything. Oh, except that two of them have medkits. Okay, so we need to move faster this time. Yeah. Before it was just way too slow. So let's go ahead and move up. Get a peek in there, Graves. What do you see? What do you see? Nothing. Okay. Why don't you peek in the window? M. Oh, there's a meld canister. Okay. Mmm, don't really want to dash inside yet. Yeah, I'll put you there. That's affirmative. Let's move in next turn. Overwatch, Overwatch, and Overwatch. Anybody want to test me? Come on. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, let's go. Let's go grab that thing. Now, how far can I move in? Alright, let's get some eyes in there. Really? There's no one defending it? Unless, you know, they could be right there behind that, behind there. Let's, um... Four turns. Let's move up. Ah, there we go. No eyes. You do have eyes on one of them. 45%. That's not bad. Actually, that's probably worth taking. The only concern is that it's really easy to get flanked right here because... To be flanking, you just have to be either on the side of the character or behind them if you drew a straight line. So if you draw a straight line from here... Like, the alien would only have to move over a couple squares to get a flanking shot on me, which is bad. It might not be worth taking the shot. Eh, I'm gonna throw a caution to the wind. 
Or should I? I probably shouldn't. But I'm gonna do it anyway. 45%, take the shot. Okay, it paid off. Rookie Graves has earned a promotion. Good job, Graves. Moving up. Let's... I have four turns to get it. I'm gonna move up anyway, though. We should be fine. We'll be fine. Ooh, maybe I can get a f Oh, I could go on the roof. Oh, but there's no cover on the roof. Hmm. Still, why don't you go all the way over here? That way, next turn, I can move him to the corner, but at the moment, he cannot be shot at by anyone over here. Okay, okay, okay. And why don't you move here? Move, move, move. All right, we're gonna grab this metal canister next turn. I don't know where that other alien went. It's still around. All right, let's grab this thing. I'm not gonna lose another one. Got it. Alright, I need to know where this enemy is, so why don't you move up? Move up to full cover, unless I can get behind... Oh, ooh, look at this! Without even dashing, I can get get the high ground, which, by the way, vastly increases your chance to hit. And also get in full cover. Let's do that. Got it. Nothing! That enemy has gone somewhere really fast. It must have backed up a lot. Okay, well, you overwatch. And let's just move everyone up. I'm on the move. I want that other canister. Right about now. Oh, shit. What the fu- I just right-clicked here and somehow he went to the roof. I don't even know what just happened. Apparently there's enemies over there. Hmm. Where? Okay, there's enemies over here, but there's apparently a meld canister this way. According to that thing that just flashed. So let's just keep moving up. If they come behind us and flank us, we'll, we'll deal with it. It'll be fine. Can anyone move up without dashing? Yes, you can. <sighs> Still no eyes on them. It's funny, in, in this game, the longer it takes to find the enemies, the more tense it is, because you just think, you know they're out there. And the, the tension just keeps building. Stepping off. There it is. Oh, great, and he's being flanked. Shit. Oh. Great. Actually, that... That's perfectly fine. <laughs> Holy shit, is that gonna do what I think it is? Oh my god. M, you are going to bust in through the window and drop down like 10 feet and blow this alien's head off. That is such a badass move, I'm totally gonna do it. Here we go. <laughs> That's awesome. 100% chance to hit. And it was a critical, and M has earned a promotion. And you deserve it for that badass move. Nice. Nicely done. Oompa Loompa, man. Alright, metal canister's over here, so... Uh, I, can't, I can't be too cautious. I just need to move people up. By the way, I think these... I think these, um... 
uh, pumps can blow up if they get shot at. I'm pretty sure they can. So they're not necessarily the best cover. In fact, I think cars can also be blown up. But I think they'll catch fire first, so you have you have advance warning. Alright. I want this canister. I want this canister. Heading there now. Here we go. Let's get this party started. Right, well, you're completely useless right now. Completely. So... Let's get you in the game, but out of harm's way. Why don't you go there? I know you're a badass, but you can still die. You're still susceptible to bullets. Alright, two people with a 45% chance to hit. That is worth it. I will take it. You have failed me, Graves! No, no, that's not Graves. That was... Dresden! You failed me! It's up to you, Graves. 45% chance. God damn it! You're all a bunch of failures. I'm ashamed that I have you in my group. No, I'm just kidding. You're fine. You'll learn the ropes. You're, you're rookies. Shit, mind meld. Mind meld, if, in case you don't know, happens when a sectoid... That's what these are, they're sectoids. Um, it happens when a sectoid buffs another sectoid. And if you kill the, the one that actually is buffing it up... So if you follow this trail back to wherever the original is, and you kill it, it'll actually kill both. So the original will die if you kill it, but it'll also kill the one it's mind melted to. Fun fact. Very useful to know. Alright, well this should be easy, just, I mean, just flank it. Yeah, I mean, perfect, I can be in full cover and flank it. Right? Yeah. 97% chance to hit. I thought that would have been 100, but okay. It's still a good shot. Oh. Three points. It's still not dead. And I've got five turns to get that. That's fine. That's, that's easy. 45% chance. Can I flank you? No. Is there any way I can flank you? Yes, actually, there is. Right here. And it's in full cover, too. 83. Just just, just make sure not to shoot your um, your friend's head off, okay? Be careful, M. Be careful. Okay. Good. M moving on up. Alright, there's another alien here. Where is it? Ah. Well, everybody's in full cover, so honestly, we should be perfectly fine. Actually, I could even take a shot at it. Go up here to full cover. Oh, no? I, uh, either this thing is blocking Graves' line of sight, or maybe it's just too far away. I don't know. Go into Overwatch, though. Alright, everyone's in full cover. We should be fine. It's just one little sectoid. They're puny. Oh, Overwatch. <laughs> <gasps> nice. Mission accomplished. Good job. Operation Morbid Fog. A grand success. Had many. Had many um level ups there. Many promotions and both canisters. I don't think I took a single point of damage, did I? Did anyone? Commander to the Situation Room. Commander to the Situation Room. Impressive work, Commander. Our soldiers have to be feeling good after a mission like that. Alright, we have a couple more squaddies. Good job, Graves and M. Alright, so you are a support. And your first ability as a support is a smoke grenade. Which will give a plus bonus... Uh, plus to defense. A bonus to defense to all units inside of the blast radius of the smoke grenade. 
handy little ability, although honestly in the original game I virtually never used it. Ah, you're a heavy. Which kind of fits, because you're a badass, you're a badass Oompa Loompa Dresden. Or no, M, sorry, I'm getting all the names mixed up. I'll get it right at some point. You have a rocket. This ability can be used, cannot be used after moving, nor more than once permission. Commander to the Situation Room. Commander to the Situation Room. I'm proud of you, Graves and M. Dresden and Smith, don't worry. You'll have your chance. At glory. Ooh, new metal. This, this is another thing added in Enemy Within. The Urban Combat Badge is now unlocked. Visit the barracks to designate a special capability for this medal, rename it, and award it to a soldier. So... It's pretty cool, I'll show you that in a second. Artifacts recovered, blah blah blah, bunch of stuff, cool. So yeah, when you have the choice between three different missions... Commander to the Situation Room. Commander to the Situation Room. Yes, thank you, game. <laughs> when you, um... When you pick one of the three missions, you can only pick one at a time. And panic will increase in the other places. There's just nothing you can do about it. It's just inevitable. Panic will increase in the other countries. There are the other continents, the other locations. So. So I haven't failed by having these things here. It just it's it's a necessity, it just happens. But I've earned two hundred bucks. We will be in touch, Commander. Or two hundred million space Commander, bucks, whatever this is. Our soldiers by awarding them medals for accomplishments you deem appropriate. You can view and award medals in the barracks. Alright, I would like to do that, but it's just going to keep annoying me about the Situation Room, so let's just go deal with that. Every member of the Council is going to want satellite coverage, so we should plan our deployments carefully. Yes, we should. Alright, so I have one satellite to deploy, I believe, right? Launch satellites. Yeah, I think I already know all this, st all this stuff. You do want interceptors deployed to continents in which we have satellite coverage? So, should keep that in mind. And it is vital to how much money you make per month. So as you see up here, it says I'm earned 247 whatevers, whatever the hell that is. I don't even know what that symbol means. You. We'll monitor that contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. I have no idea what you're talking about, Central. I earn 247 monies per month. And just by launching one more satellite in the United States, I'll make an extra 180 per month. So it makes a huge difference. And all the different locations just have different different amounts of money and different bonuses, like this one is plus one scientist and one engineer per month. This one's one, one scientist per month. Nothing and you unlock... Oh my god, this game keeps interrupting me every five seconds with annoying stuff. Let me breathe, game. Just let me breathe. Calm down. It's okay, game. It's okay. And as you put more satellites into it, you get further bonuses. And it also takes down panic, by the way. So it might be wise to put it into Mexico and France. Just because they have panic. But, like, France gives me 80 per month and Mexico gives me 50, but United States gives me 180 per month. So I'm sorry, but I'm greedy, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna launch it in the US. Excellent. Now, let's go see what I can build here. Alright, this stuff isn't even close to being done. And I still need 10 engineers to build another satellite uplink to be able to build more satellites. And I only have five, so yeah, I need to wait. I'm still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. Um, yes. Um, so... <laughs> research is still ongoing, nothing to do in engineering. I guess just assign the medal and then let's get back to combat. Okay, Urban Combat Badge. So this is new to XCOM Enemy Within. Basically, you just unlock random medals and they're basically just like mini power-ups that you can assign to whoever you want. So let's, let's figure out which power we want this to have first. Plus five defense when in cover. And plus five aim against enemies in full cover. Hmm. 
Let's go with this. Plus five aim against enemies in full cover. It's permanent, yes. Urban combat badge. Let's call it the, uh... The badge of badassery. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. The bad of badge of badassery. Which I will award. How do I... Here we go. Award. I'm going to award the badge of badassery that gives you a bonus to your ability to hit enemies in full cover too. M. For your amazing move of jumping in through a window, falling down 10 feet, and shooting an alien in the face. Plus, you're a heavy. So that makes you even more of a badass. So, Tyrone M. Yep. Are you sure you want to award the badge of badassery to Tyrone M? Yes, I am. This is in recognition of your badassery, Tyrone M. You've served me with honor so far, and I have no doubt you will continue to. Good job. Let's get back to the battlefield. Actually, how are my people doing? The wounded ones. Eight days, six days. Yeah, it hasn't even been like a day. Still need, still need to wait a lot more. Okay. Access lift done. Go see what's going on over here. Still only five engineers. So... Mm. You know, just so I don't have to wait, I'm going to preemptively excavate. And I will do the same here. And when I have more engineers, I will build a satellite uplink. Ooh, someone has returned to active duty. Sweet. Alien materials research project complete. So what does that give me? N normally I retext, but I've already played the game before. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of skip it for the most part. So basically what this actually gave me is the nanofiber vest available for manufacture, which is excellent. Mm-hmm. Made from a dense weave of nanotube fibers, this lightweight vest provides extra damage absorption to the wearer. Mm-hmm. What next? Let's go with weapon fragments. Let's get better weapons. This technology has a number of potential applications. I'm sure the science team is eager to begin. I'll notify you as soon as we have something significant to report. Thank you, Valen. Now, let's see how much those vests cost. They cost 20 each. Should I buy some for all of my people? How much does it... Confers two extra health. By the way, if I remember right, this button down here, this question mark that tells you what the item does exactly, I'm pretty sure this button, I, I didn't even know it existed for like the first three-fourths of my roughly 30-hour playthrough of the original XCOM Enemy Unknown. It was like almost near the end of the game where I realized, oh, it'll actually tell you what it does. <laughs> I can't believe that. It took me so long to realize I was there. I think maybe I should. It's only, yeah, it's only $80 to, to give two extra health to all of my people. It's probably worth it. I think it is. I'm going to do it. Oh, here we go. We have a contact. And also I've noticed that both of my people have now returned to active duty. Excellent. Scramble interceptors. Let's go fight this thing. It's apparently a small UFO. Raven 1 with avalanche missiles. Missiles. Ready to go. Launch jet. We 
have eyes on the bandits. Come on, win. I have no control over this, by the way, other than I can abort. But I should be fine. Okay. Interceptor sustained heavy damage in the encounter. Yes, it did. Look at that. It got more than a half hurt. But it's okay. It has been shot down. Excellent job. This is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central left. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. Alright, send a Sky Ranger. Yep. Let's go investigate the crash site. Okay. Now we're going to assign, assign some new names. So I have a support and a heavy. But at the moment, Smith and Dresden do not have a class. Actually, should I? See, the thing is, you have to make some decisions here. You can either choose to go with... If you keep using the exact same people for every mission, they will upgrade very. They will level up very fast. They'll get promoted really fast. But if any one of them dies and you haven't bothered to use any of your other people, then the next one you're going to take, you know, the the people you have in backup, don't have any experience at all, and they're all going to be rookies. So I don't think it's actually a good idea to only use the same people. So I could replace. Dresden and Smith at the moment with my two other people that have come back to duty that do have classes. But I think I want rookie... These rookies, Dresden and Smith, to actually get a class before I switch. Yeah, I do. Okay, so I'm going to use them again. Yeah. Yeah, I'll use some new people probably next time. Let's, uh... Let's assign the armor, though, obviously. Alright, body armor. <laughs> I love this in the tactical info. XCOM soldiers will appreciate it if better armor development is given a high priority. Yes, they will. Now, where is my armor? Shouldn't it be here? do this just in case. Uh, loadout. Where? I thought I bought the armor. Oh, it's this extra slot. It's not... It's... It's a vest. It's not armor. Okay, so they would need to take this instead of... Ooh, instead of like a grenade or... Hmm. Hmm. Do I really want to replace a medkit with a vest? That was kind of a mistake. I shouldn't have, Maybe I shouldn't have bought four. Crap. Okay, well, I don't really care for grenades that much. I find them damn near useless. I rarely ever use them, so for the people that have grenades, I'm going to give them armor. There we go. Now, hold on. You're not the right person. You are. Okay. Alright, let's go. Don't think I've missed anything. Health kits, that... No, we're good. wonder what this mission's called. Probably something... disturbing. We have visual on the mission site. Setting down. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. See, what did I say about the operations always being named something disturbing and foreboding? Bleeding Hero. Operation Bleeding Hero. Really, I don't want my heroes to bleed. I want them to live. Hmm. Okay. So, kill everyone, locate the UFO, and get the meld canisters. 
<laughs> Operation Bleeding Hero, great. Also, looks like it takes place at a barn, which I think is a new environment. I don't remember ever seeing any sort of a barn environment before, so that's cool. Let's check it out. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is new. It's a new kind of uh, level. And it's really cool. Actually, weren't barn like... I have seen a little bit of footage of the original XCOM. And weren't there a lot of barns in the original XCOM? I wonder if this is like a nod to that. Hmm. Anyway. Let's go secure the canister. I need to be more careful here, though, so because things are starting to get serious. The first couple missions were... The very, very early missions are super easy, and this is still pretty early, of course, but... I do need to be more careful there. It is going to ramp up in difficulty. Right. So, Graves is my support. And M is my heavy. So I've got a rocket and some smoke. Move you up. Don't want to wait too long, but I also don't want to dash, really. I kind of have to. Yeah, what the hell. You'll be fine, Graves, don't worry. You're totally not going to die, Graves. I swear you won't die. Maybe. Is there a back entrance? There is. Oh. Flanking maneuver, anyone? Hmm. I see some real possibilities for a flanking maneuver here. Maybe. I would need to be able to not dash to my next... Mm. Can I go in through the window? I don't think I can. What the hell, dude? Just go here. It'll be fine. I hope. Please don't discover new enemies. Whew, you didn't. Good. up there. Might as well overwatch. It really doesn't matter. He's not going to be able to shoot anything this turn. Alright, everyone's in full cover. Everyone's good. Okay, we got a mind meld. That buffs it up. Did you really think you would hit him? Oh, crap. More. Mm. Four enemies at a time. That's not good. They're pretty far away, though, so I should be okay. And if I can... Remember, if I can kill the one that is mind-melding, it will also kill this one. Now would be a perfect time to flank and kill it. But can I? It's a big risk. I could move him here. Which might give him a flanking shot on this one, but if he can't kill it, he's fucked. Smith would be screwed. So, let's see what we can do without totally endangering his life. Yeah, you move here. Okay. And take a shot at you, because not only are you weaker than a mind-melted one, but killing you will kill the other one, so go for it. Come on. You failed me, Dresden. Alright, M. You're a badass. After all, you have the Medal of... Does it display here? Yes, it displays here in the Soldier Info. You have the Badge of Badassery. Plus aim against enemies in full cover. Although they're not in full cover, so that actually isn't going to take effect here. But, doesn't matter. Here we go. Don't let me down, M. Commander, it would be 
What the fuck, M? I wanted you to shoot the enemy, the alien, not blow up the fucking canister I needed. What is wrong with you? I should rename that badge the badge of blowing shit up that I want. Not cool, M. Not cool. Okay, another 50% chance. Come on, don't let me down, Graves. Oh. Okay, Graves didn't let me down, although he did blow up one of my soldier's cover, which is kind of... It's kind of... <laughs> Dresden is just left, just left standing out in the open. Because his, his fellow soldier blew up the wall, but it's okay. <sighs> Alright, there's one more canister. And there's the UFO. Which you really don't want to get near, by the way, when you're fighting other enemies. If you can avoid it, because there's this... With these UFO missions where you're going to the crash site, there's a special enemy inside of the UFO that is very powerful. I don't want to make it spawn. I really don't. Alright, move up. Cautiously. 25% chance. It's kind of shitty. It's kind of really shitty. Just hunker down until your teammates get there. That blew up. I didn't know that was going to blow up. Although it didn't seem to hurt anyone, so... That's fine. They're very close. Hmm, can I do a flank here? That's not in cover, that's not in cover. Maybe. Move up there. Oh, one of them was on Overwatch. I didn't know that. Ouch. Eh, it's just two. It's two hit points. It's just a little sting. It's fine. Alright, why don't you also move up there? I'm keeping them out of the... Directly being on the corner, because that means they can get shot at. But here, they can't be shot at. And they wouldn't be able to shoot anyway. So there's no point in putting them in the line of fire for no reason. So I'm going to do something special with them next turn. But for now, I'm just keeping them safe. Hold on, can I flank? Hmm. Hmm. I think it would be a flanking shot from here, because he would shoot over the front of the car, right? I think so. Ah, oh, fuck another Overwatch. It's okay. Missed and blew up some cover. Okay, yeah, it's a flanking shot. Rookie Smith has earned a promotion. Good job, Smith. You're proving to be a quite capable soldier. Although this isn't a great position to be in, though, because he's only in half cover. But it'll it'll be fine. Hmm. Can't really get him anywhere near the fight. I'll just move him up a bit. I don't think he's going to be able to contribute to this fight. He's too far behind. Oh, I see the other meld. It's right there. Right there on the top left of the screen. And now I have to go there anyway. Okay. What's your percent? 45. Not bad. Alright, well, let's see if we can kill it. Let's open this up. Okay, six... Oh, alright, we have six turns. That's plenty. That's more than enough. We don't even need to really consider rushing for the meld canister. Alright, we should get two good shots at this alien. Here's shot number one. Good job. Alright, let's just move people into a baddie, ba baddie, battle ready position. Let's surround this canister. Let's do this. The 
infiltrate. Let's overwatch. Alright. Most likely, when I go up to the canister, it's going to spawn the special enemy. But, we need to get it. And we've got to spawn it at some point, so I guess let's just go up. Let's do it cautiously, though, so... Let's move one person up. And it's gonna be you, Smith. You're the lucky one. Let's do this. Target acquired. Here we go. Yep. There it is. Now, it doesn't have very much health, but it does do a lot of damage. And actually, Smith, wow, Smith, you are in a bad position. It is going to blow you up next turn. Hmm. Although he does have the body armor, so he might have enough health to take it. But anyway, I, I, wanna, I really want to kill it this turn. What kind of shots do we have at it? 30. Mm. No targets from him. Here we go. 30. Let me guess, everyone's... Oh, no, you're 25. I think I'm going to take it. I mean, I guess... Maybe I'd get a better shot here. I think that might actually be worse. Whatever, just, ta just take the shot. We need to save Smith here. Whoa! Good job. Nicely done. I'm impressed. It's a 25% shot. And he kicked that thing's ass. Operation Bleeding Hero was a success. And no one bled but the aliens. Well, okay, we, we bled a little bit. Not a single casualty among the entire squad. That takes a solid effort. Yes, it does. Okay, everyone now has a class. Yep. So we have a sniper and an assault. Excellent. Run and gun. Now we have the four different classes. New research available. Carapace armor and alien nav computer and a bunch of stuff. Cool. What do I do now? Mm. Five days for the research. I still have five engineers, so I can't really build anything new. Not anything I need. I could build a power facility, but I really don't need it. I guess... wait for the next thing to blow up. Commander, we're receiving a transmission from the Council. Coming on screen. The Council is requesting your presence in the Situation Room. We've had a report of suspicious activity taking place near a major bridge connecting some of Germany's largest interchanges. Needless to say, any alien activity in this area is going to draw civilian attention immediately. We need to deploy a squad to investigate. I'll transmit any additional intel once they hit the ground. Alright, so this is the special council mission. 123 bucks. And panic reduction. Sure, I'll take it. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. Okay, so let's switch out with the people that recovered. So I can get two new people in here. Who just leveled up? Let's see, what, what did I have? It was the heavy and the support. So Smith and Dresden. Alright, Smith and Dresden, I'm going to switch you out. With you and you. Those are my two other people that actually have made the rank of squatty. Okay, so let's grab the list again. Alright, next person on the list. 
is. I I'm gonna butcher everyone's names, by the way. So I apologize in advance, but the next name on the list is Maria... Uh, I... Last, the last name is... Uh, well, I'll type it out. And you can tell me if I'm pronouncing this right. I'm going to go with Izeli. Izeli? I don't know if that's correct, but it sounds pretty cool, so I'm going to pronounce it Izeli. I'm spelling that right, right? E-I-S... Yeah, okay. Mer Wait, did I... I pressed cancel, didn't I? There we go. Maria Izeli. Let's see. Let's go with... Uh, let's go with Italian. Do, do a bunch of different stuff. Let's see what happens. Holy crap, that actually looks pretty cool. Mmm... Red hair, red armor, maybe? That looks pretty damn cool. Although I'm not sure a sniper should... I'm not sure a sniper should be wearing such... colorful clothing that would make them stand out, because they're kind of meant to be in the background. But who cares? I think we're long past the point of any tactical considerations being put into the... the color of what people wear. That looks pretty badass. I like it. Yeah, let's go with that. Alright, Maria Izeli. Next one. Is... And the next name on the randomized list is Arrow. Which is just one name, not two names. So, I'm just going to leave the first name. And just use it for the last name. So, Isabella Arrow. Sounds pretty freaking cool, I think. Let's go with Russian. I wish there was a randomize button. I'm just, like, clicking random stuff, and I don't even, I don't even looking at what I'm doing. Random, 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 what have I done? Okay, what have I made? Hmm. I want the hair color to be more extreme. Oh my god. Holy crap, look at that. It's literally glowing. You can see it glowing. <laughs> hmm. Those are some bright hair colors. I can't even remember which hair colors I've already used. Let's go with... whoops. I, uh, do I want it to be more ridiculous? No, that's fine. There we go, kind of matches. Yellow hair, yellow armor. Yeah. I have no idea if these characters are anything like you imagined your characters being. Russian and Italian and Polish and American and crazy hair colors and strange facial hair and... I don't even know. But... They might be a strange looking group. But I'm proud of them. Yep. Alright, let's um... Make items available that'll unequip everything on the un the soldiers that are not here. So I have one more medkit and one more vest I want to use. Okay, assault is a is a class that is always going up to enemies, so they definitely need heavy armor, no doubt. So let's give you armor. Whoops. Okay. Support definitely needs a medkit. Support is always going to be your healer, without a doubt. So you need the medkit. Um, 
Does it make sense to give a sniper a medkit? Usually the sniper is going to be far away from the rest of the group. So, not really. It certainly doesn't make any sense for a sniper to have a grenade. So, let's... I keep going to the wrong one. Loadout. Because you give you a vest. And... Let's give you a med kit. Yeah. Okay. Squatty Izelli, Graves, M, and Arrow. It's time to fight. Are you ready? Prepare for deployment, Strike One. Our target site is near the German border. Nope, no more, no more details. Our target site is near the German border. Thank you for that incredibly illuminating intel. I mean, I guess I could just read it here. Okay, so I need to deactivate the bomb before it goes off. And you can delay the detonation by deactivating the bomb's power sources. Mm-hmm. Okay, so in other words, we need to be quick. We can't wait or everything's going to blow up. Got it. Strike one. Council intel indicates the aliens are charging a plasma bomb of some kind in your vicinity. Time is running short. We need to locate and disarm that weapon before they're able to finish priming it. Our sensor readings indicate that the device is some sort of priming mechanism. The aliens are transferring power from it directly to the bomb itself. Disabling this power node should give you more time to find and disarm the explosive. New objective received. Well, I guess I really, really have to use the nodes, because at the moment it's going to be three turns until the bomb goes off, which is way too quick. So yeah, I've got to get to these nodes now. Let's see, you, you are the only one who can get there without dashing. So M, go on ahead, Mr. Badge of Badassery. Okay, that, that buys me one turn? Shit. But you still need to hurry, or... Well, you know. I know. Oh, I know. Alright, Sniper should be in the back. So I'm obviously not going to move her up. I'm trying to remember what classes all these people are. I kind of have to look at their special ability. It's hard for me to remember for some reason. Right, your support. Alright, uh, you move up. Oh crap, it's a Thinman. Thin man, thin man, a thin mint, delicious, and may shoot you in the head as well. It's actually bad. That's actually a really bad place to be because it's only half cover. Hmm. Maybe I should have moved up here to full cover and then moved here next turn. I don't know. All right, you are running gun. Right, your assault arrow. So, since she has the run and gun, and she also has a shotgun, which obviously is only good at close range, she should always be near the front. And Sniper should be nearer to the back. Half cover. Hmm. There's not a lot of full cover here. Ooh, here's some... Oh, I can't quite make it. It's fine. Yeah, she'll be safe there. And then I'll move her up a little bit next turn. First shot. Uh, Overwatch. There's a pretty good chance that that hit, whatever, whenever it shoots at my people in half cover, it might work. Ooh. M, M, M? You shot a little high there. Alright, its shot is probably gonna hit. Oh. Shit. Great. I think that means they lose one health per turn. 
And I can stop that using a med kit, which I probably should do. Let me disarm this. There we go. Good work. That'll buy us a little more time. But you still need to find that bomb. Can I shoot over the car? Would this be a flanking maneuver? Can I move over to the side and shoot over the car with that? I don't know exactly how it works. I do know I want to get rid of the poison. Hmm. I, I could run and gun her up, but then she'd be far away from anyone who could give her a med kit. Actually, no, she wouldn't. Okay, here's here's how this is gonna work. Run and gun. Go up here. Arrow is gonna kick some ass. Oh, there's another one over there. And it's it's a it's pretty far away. All right, here we go. Ninety-eight percent. Boom. Take that, thin man. Now you're even more thin because chunks of you are missing. Now. I need to be in that radius to heal her, so let's just move... Yeah, let's just move up here. Alright, use this. There we go. Killed one hit point and cured the poison. Excellent. And by the way, uh, carrying the medkit actually confers an immunity to poison. So, just, just simply having a medkit on you will make that that spit thing it, it just did completely ineffective why don't you ah, there's no full cover here alright just move up to it you're a big badass with your badge of badassery you'll, you'll be fine there's nowhere I can get a shot here All right, I'm gonna move her up here because next next turn I can move her to the top of the truck, and she'll have a height advantage. All right, three turns. Actually, make that four. Good job, Strike One. That should buy us a few minutes. I'm not sure if I can shoot him from here. Let's check. Really? It got it got a chance to move? Why? It was already discovered. I don't get it. But anyway, I do have a chance to hit him, so let's go for it. Shot a little bit high once again. Alright, let's get that height advantage. Of course, she's not in cover, but I believe having a height advantage does make it harder for you to be hit, so I'm not sure if that makes up for it enough, but either way, 75%. I will take it. That is excellent. You cannot move and fire this weapon in the same turn. Fuck! I forgot you can't move and fire the sniper at the same turn unless you have a special ability that you can get later on down the line. Ah. Oh. She is now very vulnerable. Okay, just, uh, here we go. Half cover. Damn it. Mm. I, I can't really move up without dashing. So I guess I will dash... Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Unless... Now, nah, let's move up here. I'm probably gonna get hit next turn. Almost certainly. Thankfully, it can't get a flanking hit on us, but we're still in half cover, and it's so close. Yeah, look at that. But it's okay. 
That's zero energy on that power node, strike one. I repeat, power node deactivated. Here we go, 75% chance. Come on, Izelli, don't let me down. Nicely done. You have a sharp eye, sharpshooter. Alright, where is it? Have we reached it yet? I'm not sure if these are the bomb. Are these the bomb? I don't think they are. Hmm. I don't really need to dash at this point, so I'm not going to. Yeah, I've, I've bought myself enough time. I don't need to dash. Although I guess I probably should just dash here because I can't really move up without without dashing. So yeah. There's the bomb. Oh, just a couple more sectoids. That should be easy to deal with. Mm, you're hurt. So, let's get you in a full cover. Yeah. Alright, none of my people can actually shoot at them from their current position. I'm actually going to have you reload, because I think it only has one shot left in this LMG. Yeah, reload. Oh, yeah. And... Uh, I don't want to lose you, so you just go ahead and hunker down. Actually, did he have a medkit on him? Maybe he could have healed himself, I'm not sure, I don't remember. No, I think he used it on Arrow, right? Oh, shit. I think Arrow needs another medkit. Yeah, he already used his. Unfortunately, Izelli is completely useless because to move her would mean she can't shoot. Hmm. I need to get her in the game. But you can't even get high ground this turn. I guess I'll just move her here. Maybe? Let's, let's move him up here. Do that. 47. Oh, he's the only one he has eyes on. Alright. Take the shot. Come on, M. Don't let me down. Good job. Oh, right. That kills the other one. I totally forgot their mind melted. And I think that's all the enemies. So I'm just gonna move her up. So she can hopefully get on top of that truck next turn, just in case I need her. Looks like you found the bomb. Get over there and deactivate it. We have a new objective. Okay, this is too good to be true. I think maybe something happens after I try to defuse it. I'm not sure, though. I don't remember, but I feel like there's got to be something else, you know? This is too easy. Yeah, this is way too easy. Let's overwatch with you. Where's the med kit? Power node, power down. Who did have the med kit? You. You have the other med kit. I would like to heal him. Eh, they're kind of far away. It'll be fine. Just gonna hunker him down, just in case. I want her to have the high ground up here. Eh, 
And let's go ahead and nab this. Lights out on that power node. I could heal her. In fact, let's do that. Oh no, I just dashed. Shit, I can't heal. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I'm safe. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be cautious. I'm safe. I don't need to uh, advance them up yet. No need to rush. Absolutely no need to rush. So let's heal you. Excellent. Does that take up your turn? It does. It takes up his whole turn. Now that you're healed... Yeah, just move her up. I'll leave her right there. Yeah, right at the ladders. So she can easily get down. Overwatch. And next turn, let's disarm it. Alright, full cover, full cover, full cover. And of course, no cover because, well, she's on top of a thing, but that's fine. Here we go. Well Kill. Done. Hmm. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. Okay. Strike one. You've got a wave of X-rays closing on your location. Eyes up. Objectives updated. Okay, of course, there's a catch. Exactly what I thought. The question is, where are they going to be coming from? If they're coming from behind me, then I'm going to be flanked to hell. Like, my, my full cover only applies for this direction, not backwards. I don't know. I'm just gonna put everyone on Overwatch. If anything wants to spawn in, it can die. That is a very bad place to spawn in. <laughs> it thinks it can Overwatch me. I have four reaction shots. This is gonna be fun. Um, action cam? What, what, what just happened? M that action cam just totally failed. It show The action cam is supposed to show you the action, but it showed me nothing but four people taking a shot. Okay, apparently this thin man died, which doesn't surprise me because four reaction shots just happened. This one is alive, but it's not even in cover. You are so dead. Should I move up just to get a better shot? Let's do that. Let's move into full cover as well. Oh shit, it's... Oh fuck, it has Overwatch. I forgot. I forgot about their Overwatch. I always forget about their Overwatch. Here we go. 79. Pretty good. Right to the face. Good job. Operation Patient Apollo. Oh, we have some promotions here. A couple squaddies promoted to Corporal. Graves and M. Oh, unfortunately, two of my people are wounded. That's bad. Okay, now I get to decide. Alright, your support. I have to decide between these two. Allows the soldier to move three additional tiles, or... Allows reaction shots to trigger on enemy attacks, not just movement. Hmm. Hmm. That's a tough one. I'm trying to think back to what I did when I last played. Th 
This one sounds so good. It allows reaction shots to trigger on enemy attacks, not just movement. It can basically give you two attacks. The thing is, though, I'm pretty sure reaction shots have a much lower chance to hit than normal shots. I think. So I'm not sure how good it actually is. Three additional tiles. Hmm... I'm going to go with Covering Fire. Alright, M. You are a heavy. Bullet Swarm or Hollow Targeting. Alright, what do these do? Standard shots with the primary weapon no longer end the turn if taken as the first action. Yeah, so how it currently works if you don't have something like this is that you have like two movement points or whatever you want to call them, action points. And... If you fire to begin with, it uses up both of your action points. But if you move only enough to use one of your action points, that is, without dashing, you can use your last action point to shoot. But this makes it so you can shoot and only use up one. One action point, and then you can still move. But how useful is that? How useful is that, really? It does allow... See, one thing it will allow you to do is take a shot... And then if it... Maybe you're banking on the shot. And if you don't hit it and you don't kill the enemy, you're kind of screwed. So it would allow you to, in those cases, take the shot, see if you make it or not. And see if the enemy is still alive. And then if it is still alive and you need, need to get the hell out of there, you can run behind cover or something. So I could see that being very useful, maybe. But... Uh, shooting at or suppressing enemies also confers plus 10 aim to any allies attacks on those enemies. Okay, so you're kind of like... You're kind of like pointing out the enemy, hollow targeting. You're telling everyone where it is and just helping them shoot at it. Hmm. That does seem nice. Plus 10 aim is pretty good. I don't know about this one, this bullet swarm. I don't know. It seems like something that'd be more useful for an assault that has a shotgun and is getting up close and personal. Because you can take a shot and then again, if it doesn't kill it, you can get the hell out of there. I'm gonna go with hollow targeting. Alright, two wounded. Ooh, additional awards. Oh, and the one it gave me was the Badge of Badassery. Okay. We get to award it to someone else. Nice work, Commander. Blah, blah, blah. 123 space bucks, or whatever the hell that is, in panic reduction. Remember, we will be watching. Oh, I know. I've never forgotten. You creep. Creepy person is always staring through my window. Who should I give the Badge of Badassery to? Plus five aim to enemies in full cover. Hmm. Hmm. Let's give it to Arrow. Yeah. Because she's going to need a very good chance to get her shots in. Because, again, she uses shotgun. She uses a shotgun and she's up close and personal with her assault class. She really needs to make those shots. And plus, she's a badass for taking so many shots to the face. In the line of duty. She got hit pretty hard. So, yeah. Isabella Arrow, you get the badge of badassery. This is for your fine service. You deserve it. You served me well so far, and I have no doubt you will continue to. I have 450 monies. That's actually a lot. Three days on the research. Anything I can buy? Nothing I really need. I guess more medkits wouldn't hurt, but... Hmm. I could...
could start making power, I guess. 60. Maybe I should start building power. Let's, let's do that. Let's start making power. But then again, a satellite uplink costs 100, and then the satellites themselves cost quite a bit. Hmm. How much is it for a satellite? Yeah, it is 100. So to build the facility and two satellites would cost 300. It still leaves me with 150 to play with. And anyway, it's going to take like five days for this facility to build. What about officer training school? Oh. Uh, must achieve the rank of sergeant to unlock this upgrade, so I can't do anything yet. What about ships? I could... I could order more. Do I really need more? Not without satellites. Okay, I'm just going to build power. Yeah, let's just build a power plant. Should I put it here? Yeah. There we go. Yep, that's good. Alright, let's keep on waiting. Oh, weapon fragment's done. So what did that give me? Scope available for manufacture. When equipped, this advanced targeting module integrates with... Mm -hmm, to offer a significant increase to our soldier's aim. Alright, so if I remember right... Uh, aside from being a good item in general, it's also especially good for the sniper. Obviously, a scope is good for a sniper, as you might imagine. Hmm, this has priority with many stars around it, so I guess it's really important. I guess the game is hinting at me that I should do that. Oh, but there's beam weapons! Uh, it's gonna take 24 days, though. Okay, let's go Xenobiology. I expected that would be a priority research task, Commander. I'll begin allocating resources to the project immediately. Thank you, Dr. Valen. So, let's check out that scope. Provides an aim bonus of 10 to the user. So in other words, it is the equivalent of having hollow targeting, but permanently on every single shot you take. Let's order one for the sniper. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, I think this is the power generator coming online. It is a thing of beauty. 